Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabati fillah It was mentioned That Mi'a said When Allah chooses good for a person He opens the door to action for him And closes the door to argumentation and when Allah chooses evil for a person, he opens the door of argumentation and closes the door to action. This is a statement collected by Al-Khatib al-Baghdadi in his book, Iqtida al-Ilm al-Amal. Look at this athar of the Salaf al Salih showing us the importance of adhering to knowledge and practicing it and avoiding debating and argumentation. And this is why you have so many athar of the Salaf al Salih in which they disdained getting into arguments and de debates, especially issues of Aqidah. And so it is very important that we spend more of our time seeking knowledge, seeking to practice that knowledge and draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than it is, than we should speak or than we, than we should seek argue, argue, uh, having arguments and debates with the people. Meaning we should spend more time seeking knowledge and less time arguing and debating. If any debating and argumentation should take place at all. And another important point of Habatif Allah that also we find from many Athar of the Salaf that we learn that our scholars have made tatabur of their Athar showing us that that is reserved for those people who have knowledge. So if you don't have knowledge, why is it that you're immersed, steeped in debate and argumentation? How many people have we known who had no knowledge, who weren't even serious tulab al-ilm, and they spent all their time debating and refuting and arguing until maybe they even left Islam. Or until maybe, because of all the controversy they're, they're involved in, they went to another extreme. So it's very important, the balance, which is provided by the madhab of the salaf, when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us to be of those who speak with ilm and act upon ilm. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and shortcomings. And may he tabarak wa ta'ala accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.